Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hope you all are doing well. It's been a while since I've done a video sharing some of the items that I sold and how much I sold them for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a couple items which I like did videos of when I bought them and how much I sold them for and I'm also going to share some prices of some items that I've sold recently. So if you guys are keen to see what sales I've done recently then stay tuned. Right, so I'm gonna begin with some items that I sold in the past, which I did videos of when I bought the items. So my first item is this helmet. Um, I think it's a HGV, was it? <laughs> it's an HGV, not HGV. <laughs> Right, so yeah, I bought this helmet and I paid a fiver for it, a size XS. And I listed it on eBay and it pretty much sold in probably a few weeks. And in the end, I sold it for £20 with postage on top. I've never really bought a helmet before to resell, but because AGV is quite a popular motorbike make, I thought I'd buy this helmet and just see if I could resell it. Because new ones go for like quite a lot of money, but I just didn't know how much a secondhand helmet would go for. I suppose I didn't make that that much for it considering they do go for like quite a lot of money but maybe it was because it was an XS as well but still for buying it for a fiver I was pretty pleased with that one. <laughs> Next item, this one is quite a popular one actually because I did a video a few months back when I went to was it Strawberry Fields car boot? I can't remember now. <laughs> and I bought these boxing shoes. They're night Greco, I think they were. Let me check. Gecko, something like that. Vintage Knight Greco S S Supreme trainers, size seven and a half. I even got messages like from people or you, my subscribers, um, asking me if I had sold those shoes yet. And to be honest, it actually took me a while until I actually listed them. <laughs> and then once I listed them, I listed them for like 30 quid. Didn't really get much attention. So I brought them down to like 25 and they sold for £25 plus postage on top. But still, for a fiver to 25 quid, I suppose that's all right. Um, but yeah, they did take quite a while to sell and I feel like lots of people were really interested in um, finding out if I had sold them or not. So if you guys are here and you are one of the people that messaged me, I sold them <laughs> for £25 postage on top. So next off, I've got these Superga shoes. I bought these at the York Car Boot along with a few others. I paid £2 for them, pretty much brand new, in the box. They were a smaller size, so they were UK size 4. I listed them for 35 quid. I had an offer of 30 and I thought, you know what, I'll just accept it because I only paid 2 quid for them anyway. I sold them for £30 within like uh, 3 days or something, so that was a really quick turnaround for those Supergo shoes. So that's all the items I'm going to run through that I've sold based on items that I've had in some of my previous videos. And now I'm going to run through some items that I've sold recently. I'm going to begin with this Mint Velvet Ladies Long Black jumper. I found this at a charity shop, it's a size 12 and I always find that mint velvet can sell quite well because it's quite a, a good make so I paid £2 for this jumper and it sold literally within like a couple days for £20 plus postage on top. So that one was also a quick turnaround, I was pretty happy with that sale um, so if you guys see any like mint velvet stuff then yeah go ahead and buy them because Mint Velvet does seem to sell pretty well for me. Next off is this football shirt by Umbro. I think it's a 2007 to 2009 official size S. I paid £2 for this at a charity shop. So I've just recently started trying out reselling some football stuff. I don't really know much about it, so still learning there. I sold it for £18 within probably about a week or a bit less than a week uh, for £18 with postage on top. I was wondering though because I sold it quite quick if I listed it for quite a cheap price. I don't know. But all in all, from £2 to £18, I'm pretty happy with that. So my next item, this one's quite a random one, and it's not something I would have ever thought I would buy, <laughs> but I randomly decided to try out this Deadly 60 Safari 
playset with Steve Figure and Truck. So I saw this one at a charity shop as well. It was only two pounds and I had a look on eBay and I saw that like there was another one that sold recently for a decent price or something. So I just thought I'd buy it. And then like when I opened the box and counted all the toys inside, not all of them were in the box. So I was a bit like, uh, am I even gonna sell this, you know? So anyway, I took all the toys out, took pictures of everything that was in the box. I listed it and it sold. <laughs> for £12 plus postage. Don't know, I just didn't really expect it to sell and I just feel like I didn't even know why I bought it but <laughs> for some reason it sold. So yeah, £2 to £12 for this little toy set. So I was pretty happy to get rid of that quite quickly also because I didn't think it would really sell but yeah, <laughs> so that's that one. My next item is this Ro Allen or Roalan. Not sure how you say it. I'm really bad at like reading stuff. <laughs> and like on my most previous video, I was like, Yves Saint Laurent or Yves Saint Laurent. I still, I know what it's called. I've been told what it's called, but for some reason I just can't get it in my head. <laughs> so yeah, I always read stuff like wrong. But this one, so I got this like black Roa Lun <laughs> crossbody bag. I just got it because I thought the leather just felt really soft and it seems like a bag that I would use myself. I paid a fiver for it and I listed it on eBay for I think 18. And I got an offer of 15 and it sold literally within a week. So for fiver to 15 quid, um, I was pretty happy with that sale. And then my last item, I just felt like sharing this one with you guys. It's not really an item that I thrifted, but it's an item that I was literally about to throw in the bin. <laughs> so, um, so I ended up having two of these. I'll just say what it is. It's a blender, but not the act, not the whole blender. It's just like the machine blender. So it's the Breville, Breville, however you say it, blend active blender base. So we ended up having two of these because I had one, my boyfriend had one, so we decided to keep his. So I was like, oh, I'm just gonna chuck this away in the bin. Literally had it right by the door. And then I was like, what am I doing? Like, I could literally just try and sell this. Yeah, so I just listed it really quickly. I put it on for a fiver, cause I was just like, I don't know, I'll just whack it on for that price. And then I woke up the next morning and literally I looked at my phone and it sold. <laughs> so it literally sold really quickly. I know it's not much, like a fiver, is it worth it? but I just thought it was funny that I was literally about to throw it in the bin and then I was like, I'm just gonna list it for five pounds and it sold literally overnight. So I posted that along with a few other stuff on that day. I just thought it was funny because I, I was literally about to throw it away. So <laughs> an extra fiver minus fees there. So I'd say that is pretty much all the items I've got to share with you guys for this week's video. I'm probably gonna do another car boot adventure video for my next one. So if you guys are keen on that, then stay tuned. I also wanna let you guys know that I'm still working really hard on my little brand. It's called Tip Gason or Tip Keyson, maybe as you say in English, Tip Keyson. I was using Squarespace to do my website and now I'm gonna be changing to Shopify. I've been working on my website quite a lot so I've been really busy there, you know, just like trying to build my brand. So please check out my other little business. It would mean a lot if you guys just um, give me some support there or follow my Instagram at Tip Gason Gallery. So feel free to give us a follow on our Instagram as well and yeah, that is pretty much it for this week's video. If you guys liked it, give me a like. And if you want to see any more, give me a subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye. What's my drink? So that's... <laughs> so that's all the items I'm gonna... Right.